Look at what I got here too, so we can keep. Uh, did you get enough? There's enough food there for three weeks. For two days, actually. We're going to eat all that. Fruits and vegetables and a party tray. A party tray. Okay, let's go. It's my car and we'll party if I want to. Party. It's like literally fruits and vegetables. We can eat all of it. No yes. problem. And some... Uh, and ourselves repeatedly. Yes, excellent. Good plan. Ooh, what's this? Five bucks. That's from my pocket, I think. No, I'm sure it's from mine. No, I, I know. I'm, I know. I have five dollars. Get out of there, grabber. You know, you little grabby. Here, 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 here. For what? Is that a penalty? Yeah, you can snatch it from my hand. Oh, it's yours. <laughs> yes. You let me get it. What's our destination, Mike? Clackamas, Oregon. Uh, Wildcat Auto Parts. Auto Recycling. A legendary Mopar wrecking yard. Nestled away in the hills of Oregon. Mopar Freak's dream. Oh, I hope so. Wet dream. Wet dream. Oh my god. You trying to get me to spill my coffee on yes. me? Yes. Burn myself? Yes. Right in the <laughs> s. Wake you up, baby. Mike, you're happy. You're excited. Yes. What are you excited about? It's a beautiful day. We're almost home. It's like that song 20 days on the road and we're going to make it home in a couple nights. <laughs> Said, I don't know if you call that progress or not. What a beautiful little town, though. Why wouldn't you want to live here? Look at the mountains. Yep. The scenery is stunning. It's like a three-ring circus. An array. A cunning array of stunts. Because we got one more stop before the border. Here it is, two Canadians living the American dream, driving across the country in a big block 68 Chevelle SS. 508 ponies under the hood, ready to gobble some pavement. It's not my home sweet home, but it's a pretty friggin' amazing country from what we've seen. It really is. I mean, we basically, we've only seen the real America. I mean, not the America of the slums and the hobbles and the downtown ghettos. We've seen the America out in the Wild West and out in the farm country of Nebraska. America used to be before it became citified, before the drug issues, before poverty, before crime, the American dream. Anyway, it's been, oh, oh, it's been very, we have met amazing people, we have had nothing but kindness and hospitality everywhere we've gone. Just a big shout out to everyone in America that uh, we have been fortunate enough to meet. We have been amazing hosts for a bunch of Canadian bums. What's that, Mike? Even the semis and trailers do 90 miles an hour here. I've seen two or three triple trailers. I've never seen those in BC. I know they're talking of one of them, but Pretty amazing when you see a semi that's like 80 feet long. Probably just because there's no corners here. One thing I can say about America, we've done a lot of miles and they have an amazing highway system. Except for a couple miles by Detroit in the dark. Mike, you're walking funny. <laughs> He's really got, he really has got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Mike, what are we doing? I want to see Wildcat Auto Wreckers. Legendary Mopar Auto Wrecker. Supposedly, anyway, I've never, must be top secret. I've never heard of it. So they obviously, they don't advertise much, but the guys at uh, RM Restorations mentioned it, so obviously. Mike, well, you're driving like a maniac. Trying to keep up with this. 
check. Job import I'll run my car. Hi. Hey guys! <laughs> How's that drive? You made it! Oh, you guys are right. Good job. Yeah. Is numb. Road wires. <laughs> well, the worst part is the last 30 minutes. We when we're doing 90 miles an hour the whole way here and then we turn off and what the f <laughs> that was 25. You can't, you can't be out here in the woods. <laughs> Who's the speedster in the Toyota? She must have figured we were lost anyway. She drives oh. like a bat out of hell. <laughs> she knows the roads. Yeah, well, that was a <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I didn't know the road. And your name is? Ed. Ed's glad to be just And you're Mike. Yeah. Or Avery. I, I get a mixed so up. I set of 71 fenders. What are you doing with that? <laughs> well, we got a 70 Barracuda out there as a project, and we we're going to... Clone it as 71 because well, you got 71 I, well, parts. I got, yeah, I had one fender. We're going to make a gas route so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, have you ever seen an E-Buddy gas route yet? Street action no. car? No. <laughs> it was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I've got a 62, uh, like a Bala four-speed SS. Somebody started to do that. Uh -huh. Original four-speed, probably 409 car. Yeah. I got it with a straight axle, so we're taking it yeah. out and putting another frame on it, because yeah. who wants a 409 to pallet gasser? Right, right, right. <laughs> have you seen our, we have a 62 Lancer gasser with a 32 oh, yeah. speed in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Wildcat car. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. I haven't seen nothing yet. <laughs> yep. It just starts sprinkling. Perfect sound. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the reindeer lots? Well, about as much as is up in your area, yeah. probably. <laughs> well, we, we got lots of snow. Yeah. So. How, how, how big a yard do you well, got? These, these are all projects in here. And see the stacked cars, a row of stacked B bodies Those there? Are parts? parts cars, Those yeah. are parts cars up in there. Yeah, we sell projects out of here. Oh, yeah, well, so what do you got for B bodies? Projects. Yeah, everybody has for B bodies. I got, I, got, I, got, I got 40 in my yard. Maybe you should pick them up to my yard and buy some of my projects. You should buy okay. this yard. And no. then you could be uh, international. You could have like a. How old are you? <laughs> Your age? I'm 68. Okay, yeah. yeah, well, exactly. I'm, I'm kind of a guy. Yeah, well, my wife is like me, too. Yeah, well, I mean, I can afford to. It's just I have this car addiction. Good thing my kid works. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah car addiction. Well, everybody wants to be bodies. I mean, those B's and E's are the money cars now. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, yeah, those always will. Yeah. They always will. Right? I mean, I, I know lots of guys like A's. I had about 20 of them. I got rid of them all and I kept my B's just because <laughs> yeah. I actually have eight Super B's as well. So, uh, we, well, that's a Super B, 69B right there. Parts thereof, eh? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it, it, we got a clear title with it, it and it's it's a buildable car now. No way. You know, it used to be a parts car 20 years. You know the same yeah. deal. Now those are projects because they're all gone and they aren't making any. Yeah. Okay, so you sold it. This is so. What did you sell that for? No, it's it not. It came sold. back. Oh, it yeah. came back. It, sold, it was too go, much work. It was going to go to South Africa no, and really? then get something else. Yeah. So do you mind if I ask what something like that is worth here in Oregon? Thirty-five. That's going to be my bottom dollar. Thirty-five hundred. Yeah. Well, that's. Well, you got to. Well, you can see what it needs. The yeah. that can't out the well, it needs about twelve thousand bucks worth of AMD sheet metal to start. <laughs> well, you can get it. Please. Yeah, well, I, well, sometimes you can. Yeah, right, yeah. Right yeah. Now, or it's on back order. Yeah. Right now, I have nine trunk plan pans and nine floor pans because for a year and a half we couldn't get any. So when they came back, I bought nine of them. That's smart. Nine trunks, nine floors. I mean, because yeah. I've got actually I've got a sixty-nine B, I got a sixty-nine Dana, sixty-four speed RT, right, and a sixty-nine Coronet five hundred. So I mean, I've got sixty-nine. I mean, I like the 70s the best because I got five B's and an RT. Yeah. You wouldn't happen to have a, you wouldn't happen to have a 68, uh, 68 or 69 Super B hood, would you? Uh, the, the hockey sticks. I'm just asking. I mean, yeah. I, 
I got the, a gl the glass hood hanging up yeah, in the shop. No, no, shop. I mean, you know, the steel one yeah. with the, the hockey sticks. Yeah, there's right, one in there, right. isn't there? You didn't sell it, yeah. did you? Yeah, because like I said, I just, I've got 268 Cornet 500 convertibles. I just want to make a B rag out of one because I got them, right? Oh, hey, yeah. Well, why yeah. wouldn't you, right? I mean, we right. just did it. We're doing a 68 uh, big block sports satellite rag right now, but I didn't have a good grill for it, but I had a Roadrunner hood and a Roadrunner grill and a Roadrunner tail lights. You know, once in a while, it's nice to do that. Yeah, you know? right. That I mean, was a numbers matching car. Yeah. Put it back original. Actually, when, when we go back, I'll grab my phone. I'll show you the 70 Coronet RT we're bringing back to life. It's about half of what this is. Is, you know, I've watched all your episodes. Yours was the favorite, my favorite show. Because <laughs> I, I can relate to it. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I mean, we have a lot of the same stuff. Yeah. But, and age, <laughs> but yeah. anyway. Well, uh, I, I, a guy I, gave it to me, it was so, I bought 370 Kudas off him, and it says, yeah. where the f is that thing? It's like a sublime green, you can see his black final top. Said so that, believe it or not, was a Dana 60 U-Code 440 RT uh, air wing grabber, like yeah. all the bells and whistles, and, and it had four of the five numbers still. <laughs> the only one missing was the rad support, because when they yarded the 440 out of it, yeah, they cut yeah. the rat. So, we drug it around for 10 years and now a buddy of mine that's a freak is in the process of uh, rebuilding it. Like it's almost done when we get back in another week or two, I'll get it back as a rust free roller. Cool. And then we'll start throwing real money at it. Yeah. <laughs> but he's got like 770 Kudas, he's that kind of freak. Yeah. yeah. Right, comes down to my yard, cuts out pieces of Mopar metal so he can weld it. <laughs> but you know, I mean, he's just like, hey Bob, that's a yeah. 70. Could a tire tie down, sell it to me. I said, go ahead, I'll get a, I'll get a repop right. when I do my car. I don't well, care. You want to see what we do to e-buddies? Go over to e-buddies. Yeah, 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 let's go. Over. <laughs> what do you do to e-buddy? Oh, here, here's a nice project, '66. Yeah, that's a solid car. I know. Well, I put on. I mean, I'm just look at it. it was four speed, so he put the hump in. It doesn't match the yeah, floor color. Yeah, somebody out Yeah, somebody in. Oh, you got a, uh, what's a uh, passenger window for one of these? I just bought a, a one of the Vegas uh, uh, yeah. trail duster. Mm -hmm. but the, That's what that is, a trail duster. The passenger window smashed out of it. You mean the top window? No, no, the, the, the door, glass. door glass. Okay, how many you want? <laughs> oh, I need one. You got a whole bunch. <laughs> Oh, it's a roof worth. Mine's got a sunroof in it. Well, it's a, it, it, this is a big block truck, and it, oh. really the it, the only damage is the the fender and the yeah. grill and bumper. That's that's gonna go back together. So there's like a '76 or something because they quit putting a big block in at '77 or uh, well '78 yeah. for sure. Yeah, because mine's a '79 Eric truck with 360. So. 79 was less big block, but they were usually relegated to motorhomes and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> okay, so what's what's something like this worth? Um, if we throw in part, oh, let's say just the way, the way you see it, uh, um, probably 18. Bottom dollar on this one. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cheap. Yeah, a lot of these projects yeah, yeah, are really yeah, cheap. Yeah, they yeah, need to, yeah, yeah he has no, good yeah. prices on the cars. Well, the we don't the... advertise this stuff. People come out for parts and then they walk through and they see some projects and oh, my buddy wants one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, like, like that, well, I'm, I'm the same boy, just because you aren't actually that far, right? I mean, we just drove 7,000 miles, man. So, I mean, it's just like, <laughs> as a number, I mean, you guys are, I mean, Portland is only what, six hours from Vancouver? Um, yeah, yeah about roughly. That. So yeah. you guys are like 10 hours from my place. Okay. I mean, that's like a like so, a day's drive. Yeah. So I mean, it's not that far. No. So do you guys have have like an on, online listing of all these or no? You Some of them are on the website, but not very, a lot of your them. PC. Very, very few. That's, that's PC, pre-computer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. we watch your show, I'm going, I'm trying to think of where the heck is that little town at that what, they're in? Or what, what, do you know where, uh, where uh, mm -hmm. Kelowna yeah, is? No. You don't go anywhere, do you? You just. Here. Yeah, I go from my here. door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, 
I was the same way. I put more miles on that big block Chevelle in the last two weeks than I did in 20 years. Wow. Because we drove across Canada, came across to Detroit, drove to Vegas, now we're heading back. Yeah. Like in 20 days, 14 days driving, two car shows, six days at the Bet shows. You and can't wait to get home. Uh, 12 hours a day, man, and that thing, those buckets, I mean, they're reupholstered, but I mean, they... <laughs> They'll need reupholstering when you get back, uh, right? <laughs> I mean, the thing's running a 502. I got lots of horsepower. It's got I, Hotchkiss. I what pulled up and yeah. shaking the wall. Well, it's got Hotchkiss suspension. It's got four-wheel bare disc brakes. I mean, it'll yeah. do 90 miles an hour all Day, but I get tired of driving. I mean, I had never driven that car so fast for so long in my life. I mean, I'm glad it does it, but it's, I mean, everybody here doing 85 and they're all blowing by you. Like, get the out of my way. I, I've got so, I'm like, holy, like, it's, it's insane. I mean, yeah. I've had the thing up to 110 miles an hour driving down the highways here, just yeah. blowing yeah. by people. Like, holy, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So what a guy should do is come down here with an empty trailer. Mm -hmm. Three car. Yep. Trailer. Three car well, trailer. no, I just, I mean, I've got 100 cars of my own and they're all projects. I got 100 <laughs> projects. I don't need any more cars, but. I've seen you pull a couple out and fix it up and sell them. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, <laughs> well, right now we've got the Roadrunner, the clone rag. We're doing the RT. Yeah. Uh, we're doing a 70 big block Chevelle rag. Well, clone. it sounds like it. you're having more fun now doing more of your own stuff. Well, that would. At least, it, well, you know how it is. If you spend money on something that's yours, you don't really care if it, because it doesn't matter whether you win or lose. But when mm -hmm. you're doing it for clients and losing your, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, here, let's keep walking. Yeah, let's keep walking. Go. There we go. Meanwhile, my buddy did a '69 Runner. It was factory rag, and he took a from the firewall to the trunk pan out of a mint charger, and that's what we grafted in because the car was a roach, but it had the numbers matching 383, and it was a real. And he just. That's when I learned 66 is all the same right up this avenue. Firewall, everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got any, um, you got lots of, lots of 71, 72 stuff, Ed? They're just not uh, as much. You or, mean charger pieces? Well, or Super or Bs. Body. Right? Yeah. Well, Super Bs, because I've got, I still have two 71, 340 Bs. I mean, they only made 320 of them, and I ended up with two grabbers, and then some guy managed to hoodwink me out of so if never, if you don't want to sell something, don't give somebody a price. I learned a valuable lesson. Yeah. You sold I, the orange one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I paid 30 and the guy said, I want that car. I said, it's not for sale. F off. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 okay, it's 50 grand right now. Guy went out to his truck and he said, first he said it was too much. And he, so I went back in my shop, he opened his truck, he said, good. I didn't, came back two minutes later, threw 20 on the table, came back the next day with 30. Uh, loaded it up and took it down. Because it was one of 41 yeah. ever made. Which one was that? Was that the orange yeah. one? The or? orange one. Mm. 340 air grabber, four speed car. <laughs> like, I'll never get one back again ever, man. Like, they only made Maybe you'll eight. get it. It was in good condition, yes. just like it's like the yeah. way it was. Like, I, was I would never, I would never, yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. I mean, they only made eight 340 grabber cars yeah. on the whole planet. So, I mean, I had two of them and I fed up. It's okay. Well, you make mistakes yeah. in life, right? I think we've all done that. So, <laughs> I just found another rough 340 car, but because it's a bucket seat column shift i'm just gonna switch the column and then i'll clone it as a four-speed one just so i got matching cars because right. i don't care like right it's, it's still a 340 car so yeah well lots of truck parts too hey what do you sell a really good uh three kind of swept side fender for down here just oh, i have that kind uh, two and a half yeah there's a bunch of them back there yeah, yeah. Well, yep thing is a guy brought a car down for he had a 68 uh, Chevelle with a two-door post, a big block car, super rare. Mm -hmm. Some kid smashed all his glass out. Oh. So for three years, he looked for glass. He phoned me up somehow and got me. They don't make it new for that? Not for the post. They didn't make enough of them, I guess. I can't picture I, the, the Chevelle. I always 68 Chevelle, oh, okay. two-door post. So wow. anyway, I, I had one sitting there. So he's from the Northwest Territories. He brought me down a 69 crew cab short box, one ton, four by and gave it to me straight across for the glass out of the wow. Chevelle. Wow. Delivered it. I gave him 500 bucks for, for gas. And I that was a pretty good deal, but the, yeah. I got the one fender when I got the thing, but I, I might be needing another one. So when is a Portland swap meet? Uh, first weekend in April. 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 The first week. We call it the swamp meet. So be prepared for that, because out of the track, it's like, it's a swamp it every year, but it's so great. It's, you'll see stuff, you'll bring stuff out of the- It's at, it's at a racetrack, which is- yeah. Well, That's well. not a Dodge. No, it's, nope. a, it's <laughs> I had one of those. Is, is, is it, like, is that a four or a five somewhere in there? Yes, four or five. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I had one. It was, they a, were, it was a failed uh, street axle. Uh, 
Well, we didn't have to, that's how we got it, but okay. all the suspension is inside of it, to, so it could go back no. together. Yeah. You just couldn't crush it because it's such a nice shape, well, right? It's straight, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got a soft spot for I, you know, I, I, yeah. oh, What's the idea? What's that one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen one? No. <laughs> they did about 20 years oh, ago. Oh, it was a Dodge Colt. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. actually a Mopar. Yeah, I, I just didn't have the heart to. When it came in for my brother, he said it, it ran and stuff, and I was always going to take the hatch off and just make a yard goat out of it. What year is that panel? Panel? Oh, oh, you mean the, the, okay, that's a 38 Plymouth. Would you happen to have a 37 grill and a hood for a panel? Okay, because I just bought a panel. Like, somebody cut the roof out of it, but it's, I'm like the third owner and it just, there's no hood and no grill. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's the same as car. Nope, they said five and six is the same and seven try. I mean, that's the research I did, but uh -huh. you can, I'm gonna have to dig it, dig into it more. Well, it, it'd be, the trucks are 37 and eight are this, basically the same. Yeah, yeah, well the trucks, so, like, yeah, but like, yeah. A, like it's a truck paddle, not a, but it's not a humpback. Oh, oh really? Yeah, yeah so yeah. like it's... Yeah, I, uh, wouldn't you know someone that would have a 37 truck grill on it? Since I'm asking, I mean, I'm just, I know it's close to looking like that. Right, right, just, it looks very similar. Yeah, yeah, um, because the grill's got that funky bump down the side, right? Did you go through, I think they're in Wyoming, called the Junkyard. The Junkyard. The junkyard. They're, they're 30s and 40s. We send tons of people their way. Oh, okay, cool. We, we have a little bit of that. We have more 40s on. Yeah, 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 yeah. But 30s is man, just hard to find. I know, well, uh, an old guy, like he bought it off the, the original owner and they cut the roof out of it to patch a house. <laughs> so I mean, well, you know what I mean, Norman. I, I, I know. But just... That's awesome. So how long have you actually been here? 35 years. 35 years, yeah. Yeah, that's when I started collecting junk about 45 years ago. I just had two, then 10, then 200, then 300, then 500. <laughs> and then finally, I, one day I woke up and said, all this junk owns me. I better get rid of it. So I sold the record yard. It's like rabbits. I know they just, well, once you get them, <laughs> you don't even look for them, they find you. Right? Yeah. They're just people, oh, yeah, Ed will buy that. Let's drag it over to Ed's place. Like I said, <laughs> I never, you you know where I actually heard, heard of you the first time? RM Restorations. The guys that do all the uh, the concours to Pebble Beach, Pebble Beach cars. I said, oh, there's a wrecking yard in Oregon named Wildcat. And all these got his Dodges. I said, really? Yeah, <laughs> I've sold, we sold parts to them. Yeah. yeah. Because I said I've never heard of them. Yeah. Right? I mean, you were talking about them the other morning at breakfast, and I, I didn't put the two and two together. Yeah. But yep. it, yeah. And then I thought about it later. I was like, oh yeah, I knew who that is. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, yep. they like I mean they've they've had that uh, Pebble Beach Conquerors Delegates 24 times, and these guys have won it eight times yeah. with their Duesenbergs. I mean, we walked in there. <laughs> yeah. Was more a million dollar car. Like half of them oh, we couldn't yeah. even take pictures of. Like you know the sheet goes on. He doesn't want pictures. Of him. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, man, I'm just, you can look here, you can't look over there. It was pretty wild. But... You see G. Leno walking around and all, well, those, all those kind of guys. Well, I mean, there was <laughs> there was like multiple, multiple, multiple million plus or two million plus. Yeah. It was yeah. just insane Pebble stuff. Beach, yeah. I've seen it only on TV. I'd love to visit that. Well, oh, yeah. Well, now that I can drive, it just my problem is I don't fly, so it kind of restricts where I go. Well, you can't see as much from the air, anyway. No, I know. <laughs> People say flying is statistically safer than uh, driving. I yeah. said, I don't care. You, well, you get more shenanigans you get there driving. <laughs> yeah, but you never walk away from a jet airplane crash. You walk away from no. a car crash. That's, that's my logic, whether it's faulty or not. Yeah. So these are the B-body rows right here? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, anything from, you know, early well, B-bodies like to 70, Cordobas to, 70, you know. 73 or 4. 73 or 4 Charger, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, Both yeah. those are. Then we got a 63 Dodge. Um, early B bodies. Um. That one's probably going to go back together. I think. I, I want to try to save it. Well, when we got them in, we had. Jeez, we had a dozen. I know. When I first started working here, those the chargers were rows up there, yep. and they're double stat. You got a huge row of them. Yeah. In a, yeah when you well, I see. The at least you're trying to somewhat protect them, right? You got the yeah. Two yeah. Bus 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 funny. We even sold a couple of roofs that cars were sitting on, we took them off carefully because it was to a car that they could not find a roof anywhere. Yep. Yep. Had a couple of dents, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, well, like I said, we've got to do a roof on, on my 71 uh, 
Super B. Sea body, and then there's Sea body to the left, which is very, they're very picked over. But yeah, the Sea body row, and then behind that we got Barracuda row, like early '67 to '69 oh, yeah. Barracuda. And yeah, we have like A100s. Seven of them. Right? And seven, yeah. yeah, and then A100s back there too. So yeah, it's pretty organized. Wow, this is a nice piece. It's not totally picked over '71. And this, I think. <laughs> That's a 70. Yeah. Oh, 70. Okay, yeah. That's okay. A, the 70. We have one 70. No, this isn't a 70. Oh, yeah. Challenger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This place is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> right? You got nice, the grass is mowed and right. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy to keep them mowed in the winter. <laughs> what about the marmots? Do you guys have marmots here that you Rabbits. Everywhere? We have oh, rabbits. Oh, no. we, we Lots have rabbits. of rabbits. Deer, deer bear. Everything. Yeah, we see wow. bears scat once in a while out in the yard. Yeah. Lots of rabbits, snakes, but not bad snakes, just a little. Do you have you, snakes, yeah. you, what, what would a roof cost for a, like, I don't think I got one. Like a guy, I just bought a 70, do you know a guy named Marvin Berg? So, sounds good. All he does is 71s. He's got like three or four 71 Emmy cars and GTX and 440 four speed cars and six pack cars. It's all he's collected. Like in Galen Govier's book, he gives a special shout out to his Canadian buddy. Oh, does he Marvin that's funny. Bergle, that's who I bought all, all of my 71 shit. So he gave me, I just bought a 71 Roadrunner uh, Bahama Yellow. It was 383, four speed air grabber, go wing, chin spoiler with a dictaphone even, but it's a race car. So. My other Super B, I need a roof for the uh, the rotten one, but uh, I didn't want to. He like gave me a spare satellite. He says oh, it's the same roof, but I don't want to cut it out of the car because it's yeah. it's good. Do you have like something where a guy could get like a well, good roof skin because they don't make one satellite up to what year? Seventy one to fours or I think so. Well, yeah, I actually skin, think the Charger skin, skin, skin is is the skin. A, yeah, 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 the skin. Yeah, as long as you just skin. do the skin, yeah, yeah. It ends right there at the filler. Yeah, at the one top to four the should work. There's that one over there. Um, you got some, I mean, I'm, I'm short. No I'm big like, rush. I mean, if it's, <laughs> like, that one like, over like, there. What, what we had charged to cut one out. I, I mean, don't think there's a, a really good, well, that Challenger, that's that's a good E body roof, but that's Challenger. The, the Cuda, as you can see, they're hacked yeah. or they because yeah. of the vinyl tops yeah, killed yeah, them. They just, well, that's what happened with the, with the 71 Super B. It had a vinyl top, and yeah. down in Vancouver, they drove it in the winter. The salt uh, got yeah, in there, yep, yep. just ate the. I mean, you guys don't don't usually get much snow here. Do you get load? Um, no, no, we're we're probably in snow for two to three weeks a year. Okay, yeah, combined we're, we're in snow for six months. Of time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we get about that much, and then yeah. it turns into well, slush. Well, sometimes we get that much in one day, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so lots of truck parts, too, back home. Oh, Jesus, man. Oh, Ed, how long are you planning on, like, did you have kids that are going to take take this over, or what are you going to, what's your long-term plan? I mean, sooner or later, yeah. we all start out with this, and we're all getting down somewhere about yeah. here. I'm just wondering, what's your plan? I was pushing Vanessa to buy the place. <laughs> but, I need an but, investor. But uh, is there anybody out there that wants to, uh, you know, I'll run the place? That's what I'm telling you. You should no, own a yard in the no. U.S. and in Canada and then you get one in Mexico and you have all of North America. I'm too just covered. Old. I'm too old for this <laughs> shit, right? I said I'm running out of energy. Well, I'm noticing that in the last, this last year especially, but uh, uh, both of my kids have worked here. Yeah. We've done really good. And uh, our daughter comes up. She lives in Vancouver. Oh, yeah. She drives over to do our shipping. Oh yeah. She knocks that out real good for us. But uh, um, they they both have busy lives. Our son's in the in in the military oh, yeah. and he's got three more years before he can retire. And I don't know if he'd want to do it or yeah. Yeah. he hasn't said, you know, one way or another. Well put the screws to him. I'm like my kid's thirty six. So he runs my my construction company, but he doesn't he makes way more money doing that than he ever would playing with the cars, right? So, yeah, I mean, it's not yeah, like so he... You know, they're successful with what they do. Yeah. And our daughter, she's got two little ones, uh, and uh, she's married and stuff. Yeah. So, her life is busy, and mm -hmm. I'm thankful that she can come over once once a week. And well, what's something. this place, place worth with the, the, with the inventory? <laughs> Have you ever put a price on it? <laughs> Hit in me my, up. In my mind. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean... Uh, I mean, no. is, land, is land really, really expensive down here? I mean, I know, like in Vancouver, a condo is a million bucks, but you know, square feet, right? right? It's, but I yeah, mean, yeah. Well, what's this place worth with all this stuff? If well, you, it's seven point um, six acres. Oh yeah. 
And it's, two homes. It's, it's two uh, tax lots, so yep. it's basically a person can divide it anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, and it, but it's got two homes back there in the woods. That's where we live. And, uh, and you've got the two shops. So inventory, land, everything, um, in my mind, is three mil. Okay. American. So that's like 4.2. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we hey, can round mean, it down to yeah. four. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's three point nine 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 nine. I'm just wondering, like I said, I mean, it's just a number, yeah. right? See this this uh, Fury convertible, Sport Fury convertible. You know, this one is just sitting up there, but it, it's a project. Yep. It'll, it'll, it'll come down. It's not so rusty or anything, but it's. What's it's that one that had? Sport. What was that Fury that had the funky roof, the hood? I mean, a buddy of mine had one that's some big boat, and it had like a. The like the, the convertible up there, the 70 Fury? Was it? 383? Did, did, did it have like a funky, like, like I never like, seen Like a the, raised hood. Yeah. Two bulges, there's, we have yeah. the, that hood's on the convertible oh, yeah, up there. The, I'll the, show you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, cause I mean, I, I just <laughs> never seen one, right? So, holy moly. Like some of the I mean, it's amazing how, how solid some of the 50s stuff yeah. is in the 70s. They use that good stick stro metal. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's probably like an 18 gauge or a 16, yeah. some of it, as opposed to 2022, 20, totally. right? Yeah. And it's real steel. Yeah. It wasn't made in Japan and shipped over there. I remember when they were loading some of the new Chevy trucks out in Florida, they, they had to bury them because they were rusted before they even got sold, right? They had a bad batch of steel there back in the. 73, 74, and they were just oh, wow. it was garbage. So what do you do if somebody wants a car from the, from the bottom? I'm assuming you have a forklift. Yeah. Well, they don't usually buy, <laughs> in here, you don't, they don't usually buy a whole car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is these, are, these are relegated mostly to, yeah. part, uh, you know, parts. Well, that one isn't yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> correct. There, there's, there's some of them that, uh, yeah, in uh, up in here that are out of place that are uh, still yeah. what we'd call projects, so. Through the wood, over the river, through the wood. <laughs> this is beautiful, though, Mike. There's somebody back in there. See if running around. Vans back there. B, uh, B series vans are over there. Some older V's. Um. In town, she knows the better than me. Oh. Oh. Yeah, she knows they're taking. Did, did the trainer take parts off, or she just flogged them? He didn't want to hire me, right? Remember yeah. that? Remember the day I came up here? Yeah. yeah, and I, he came up here and he was like, I was like, I want a job here. And he's like, I don't know about hiring a girl. And I was like, I was like, have you worked here for two weeks? If it doesn't work out, no hard feelings, you don't have to pay me. Yeah. And it worked out great, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Aww. What's a road, what's a road, what's a road <laughs> hood, hood work, 73? Three, four. Yeah. They're one of the cheaper ones. They you just know? didn't make many. I mean, I've, I've only seen like two up in BC. Oh, power <laughs> wagon. There we go. Yeah. We got lots of these. His or... brother was really into like old uh, military trucks. I did. His did brother. have a few. I used to have they nine of them at go. one time. One guy bought them all. He just really? came. Really? He yeah, just that's, bought them all. That's, it's been that's a crazy year. Those artillery wheels. Last couple wheels. Artillery wheels. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Always getting called for those. Avery's into these things. Yeah. 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 I can see that. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> You'll have to stuff. tell him, show him a picture and say, yeah, they're going to crush that one yeah. in a couple of weeks. <laughs> you and me are in the same boat. We lie to ourselves every day. Yeah. I'm going to live to be 100. That's why I've got 100 cars and I keep buying them. <laughs> right? It's just, well, you hate to give up. Oh, man. You know what they say, the dream never dies, oh, just yeah. the dreamer, right? Right, right. Well, this other guy, Speed Tech, one of the first sets that they made for, for an e-body, mm -hmm. they put it in an AAR Cuda, and the guy got so much from the Mopa, because it was a real AAR real, Cuda, real. and now he's out slaloming at 1.2 Gs with his <laughs> AAR Cuda. He's going, you, don't well, yeah, right? Those people will do that. Because yeah. he's driving the car, right? It's, I mean, well, where do most AAR Cudas sit? In somebody's garage. Yeah, yeah. Right? They're never driven. They're just all over there. That's, that's why we wanted to take that 70 Barracuda and do an axle car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just I've never seen one, even no. in a magazine. Oh, there'd be some crying and whining. Yeah, but who cares? There'd be snivelers. Yeah, but who cares? Okay. <laughs> when it's your car, you do what you want with it. Right, right. I mean, I like the purity of the original design. Yes. But if you can make it handle better, stop better, go faster, are you really doing anything wrong? I don't think so. No, you only if it's a rare collectible model. Yep. That's my son. No. Oh, hey man, how's it going? Hey, love to show me. I'm glad you enjoy it. Oh, oh, hey, I love your yard here, man. Yeah.
He's talking, my dad. He's trying to buy it from me over No, no, I, yeah. I just thought. <laughs> just thought yeah. Well, we were just trying to keep up with the parts girl there. That's his wife. Toyo. Oh, yeah. That's his <laughs> Holy <laughs> I mean, that's not a problem. Oh, you want to play this game? I want her. <laughs> Still, she knows the road and I don't. But, but she, she loves her Toyota. Yeah, well, all it needed was a deer to come out and there'd be no more toy. They'd just be an outjo. Right? Bunch of jerky. Yeah. yeah but, I'll show you guys the shop. Yeah, she wants it. Yeah, like I said, now I can go over and make a wish list. I'll get your number on those. See what you got. Because that'd be the thing. Come down with the trailer. Yeah. Right. You need a truck under. Yeah. Lots yeah. Of oh, I wrecked, a few, I wrecked a few Vipers <laughs> over the years. And oh. left of them. Yours? No. <laughs> oh, no. I, I bought them out of the collection. No, the, 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 the yeah, the so I was going to hang them on the wall. These have been here a while. I mean, the pine needles are starting to pile up. Yeah. That only takes about a week for that to happen. What's the set of fenders worth? Those are the same for what years? Um, actually, geez, let's see, 1950. Uh, let's see. Anyway, mid 50s, quick, somewhere in there, all the way up into the 80s. Same fender. Huh. What's a what's a good set worth? A good set, three and a half each. Okay, 700 bucks. Yeah. See, my problem is I pay 500 for a truck. I just hate paying more than oh, yeah, two yeah. when you get the whole truck, right? But I understand. Yeah, yeah but I, I know when you need them. Do the same yeah. thing. That's the early one, right? There. Yeah, 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 right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a friend uh, that builds cars in Baker City, which is over. Uh, but uh, We drove through it. Okay. He says he takes all of his chroming. To a place in um, just in Boise, which is only I know, a, yeah, yeah. a couple well, hours uh, away. He said they're cheap, at least compared to over here. He, he, I, I can't remember the name of it, but I can get you the, the name. Yeah, because I mean, like we did, Sam. we did uh, two little bumpers on a on like a '63 Chevy van, you know, just a yeah, little yeah. thousand a piece. Jeez. Wow, well, I know, like a thousand, but I mean, you know, like a, like a little, like this wide, yeah, like a yeah. Mustang, like rear bump. Well, oh, were they all wadded up? No, so they had to straighten no, them out. no, they were just, it was, a thousand, like, it was two thousand bucks, and I just said, and... like, I know, I gagged a maggot, like, anyway, <laughs> that's like 74 Roadrunner, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 73, that one, that 74. One. Yeah, yeah, D. Oh, yeah, you got lost. You all know. 71 doesn't have the line in it. Yeah, yeah, 72 of the finger tab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 None of them There's more of them over there in E body ones. <laughs> cool. Okay, well, like I said, first, oh, 70 Super B. Yeah. Got a couple of them buffers later. Yeah. yeah. Complete me, ones. Me too. You know, I, we, you, uh, 15 years ago, we sold, we were selling a lot of radiators. It's like, I, this is the first time in my life I've taken 20 days off from, that's from, awesome. from reality. It's yeah, like we're going to drive dream. across Canada, and then we're going to drive across the States, God damn it. Great. I've always wanted to drive around the United States and go to all the wrecking yards and interview well, all cool. the people that have wrecking yards and get their story, well, you know, because well, well, they we have a story, you know, and they're Canada. all closing down, and it's going to be lost right. history. No. Yeah. 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 Well, we should say about that. Yeah, that's... My dream. Cross. Yeah, we were yeah. at St. George's and the guy said, if you're down here and you drive by that and you do not take the detour to see it, you are missing something special. So we said, we're going to make time. We haven't seen nothing. All we've done is drive a thousand kilometers a day, every day. Yeah. So we took the tour. And, I mean, we could have spent a week there, but we spent like an hour or two and my jaw dropped. I mean, it was just, it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. Well, everybody's running so after Mark the wheels. Where'd you find it? Uh, Dave Carter found it for me. That is so cool. I bought the these other fenders out here. Uh -huh. he, he just dropped them off yesterday. Yeah. And that was one of the things. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Yeah. It's so art. Yeah, so I, I, I want to hang it hanging up on the wall. It, there's a road in here? Yeah, it was right there, so it's gone. Oh, there, there, yeah, there's a black one. Remember the black one? It was like over here. Yeah. So you must have sold it. That's my No. That's some janky plastic stuff. <laughs> That's a real one right there. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You can switch them around. There's a real, real grabber. Uh, yeah. Demon. The the twin 72. snorkel, a twin snorkel one. Yep. That, yeah. that, the same scoop as it's on the 73 hood over there. Right. Yeah. And the most valuable one up there, this. The most special one is the one that nobody would even look at. 
Which one do you yep. think that is? <laughs> Purple one. Yep. Yeah. That, that one? one? Yeah. I want the hell is that off of? 57 Chrysler 300. Chrysler 300. And it's different. Yeah. Yeah, the peak is, is all different. Mm. What the hell is this off of? It? <laughs> <laughs> that's what pretty, I was talking about. That looks pretty special too. <laughs> that's a 61 Chevrolet. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, it's not. <laughs> it's it's 61 Plymouth. Oh yeah. Which is, you know, probably the ugliest Plymouth made, but uh they're so ugly, they're cool. No, I, no. I wish I had one, you know, they're so cool. What's no. <laughs> these ones like 57, 58s? It's this is a nine. No. Not when they had wings. They cool. fly. This car is so cool. Black, chrome, just went, you know. I love this. That's what I just coined a new phrase for cars. You know what we call them? The metallic memory magnets. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. This is good. You gotta do a t shirt with them. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. Metallic memory magnets. Because you look at that car, and I mean, when I, well, I'm sure when old guys come into your yard and then they stand in front of something and they're not there anymore. They are somewhere back in a metallic memory <laughs> way back. The back seat and the girlfriend was something, right? You know what I mean? And that's why I think these cars have such an attraction to people and such a... They do they bring start memories. Back memories. Yeah. Yep, yep. Right? Yep. People come out for the first time, they say, before we do business or before I get what I'm here for, can I go out and look, just look around? Yeah, you know? exactly. Go back and, you know. Take they go back in time, yeah. right? Yeah. They go yeah. back, right, and all those memories are still there. Yeah. Even it's not that exact car, it's that same car and the same, right? But you can transfer the memories across. Yeah. It's pretty wild. And what's yeah. really funny is when a customer comes out, you have two cars out there that used to be mine when I was a teenager yeah. or something, yeah. you know? Like yeah, they never forgot, like 40, 50 years, and yeah. they still remember the car, right? Yeah, yeah. There's some of a, well, and we don't, don't rotate. They sit out there for 20 plus years, you yeah. know? It takes a long time before we weed one out. Yeah. We only bring in about 50 cars a year. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so, I mean, you only got so much room, and you don't want to start stacking them 10 <laughs> high and squishing them. <laughs> well, Ed, I'd really like to thank you guys for, right? I mean, yeah. we still got to make a hotel room. It's been a long day, yeah. but I mean, at least I've come, I've experienced the wildcat <laughs> phenomenon yeah. here, and now I can go home and process. The, the enchanted yard up on the yes. hill, yeah, I mean, <laughs> the forest. Like I said, now at least I know where, I, if I'm looking for something. Call me when, when I'm back home okay. and I can wander around. The snow is probably gone. Hopefully. Yeah. Yep.